If you've ever walked into Matt Christensen's Social Studies classroom, you might have noticed some of the historical items that line the walls. Something you may not know is why they are there. I kind of have an idea of certain units of study and where I think there could be something that can enhance the learning or make it more realistic to what was happening during that time period. Whether it's the collection of the radio and actually listening to radio addresses on it, purchasing the television I have in my room is the first television that used a remote control. And talking about how television changed the American culture in the 1950s and the development of the telephone with the telephone that's on my wall. All kinds of things I've purchased just over the course of time, I look for a unit of study I think could be enhanced by it and purchase something for it. If I were a student and I walked into a room where somebody really liked history enough to show me history and to put a flat screen TV in an old TV box just to show me what that experience would have been like. When you can touch history and not just hear about history, that's got to be more engaging for a student than a kind of not so motivational poster. <laughs> so I think it's really cool. I think he's a very enthusiastic teacher. Um. He never makes anything boring in his class. He explains it very well. He explains it the way kids our age can understand it. Along with owning and collecting artifacts, Christensen also uses them in his lessons to get his students to relate more to history. I don't think it's just that he makes history come alive. I think the artifacts and the collectibles help to make history be relatable. For me, if I had to guess, that's the real goal of his, is to not just make history come alive, it is to make it relevant. Why does it matter? It's not lost on anybody in his room that there are 30 people sitting around on their phones and that they can look up and see the oldest form of the technology they're currently on hanging on the wall as a wooden box with bells on the top. He's trying to connect those dots and he may not always do it verbally and he may not always do it directly. I think he's trying to get people to make those connections and to connect to history and to understand that we came from something and we came from somewhere and there were more rudimentary forms of the things that we actually do care about and he surrounds you with them in his classroom. When I come into him, it's not about the what, it's about the why. Like, why did this happen? Why did it occur? And I think that puts a better perspective into my mind of how to connect the dots in this class because chapter after chapter, everything connects as one. I think sometimes history is seen as just a story of this old dead individual or this old past idea, but so much of it is art and literature and design and shape and color. There's so much that's going on that people made choices in the past of why that item looks that way or is that size or does that thing. And so I think knowing your history just really makes your life so much more engaging. And if you can then understand art and literature and history and put it all together, I think it just makes life more interesting. Christensen has found a way to make his classes more enjoyable and relatable through his passion for history and collecting artifacts. This is Melanie Wilkins and Ben Johnson for Husky Headlines.